And then you're like, no, that's not the person who made the song. And I'm like, I know. (laughs) And the thing about it that's even funnier is that I reached out to that per that artist that I found it from, who had like five followers, zero subscribers on YouTube when I found them. He's still not very big. Shout out, you know who you are in the future. Um, <laughs> and I I messaged him, maybe on SoundCloud because you can message on there. I messaged through one of the music platforms that he has, right? Yeah. And I was like, Yo, what happened to this song? You dropped it last week. And I was listening to your stuff, and I downloaded it because I keep my own personal collection of music just in an iTunes library that I burn onto CDs and put in the car. I know. I'm 25. Shut the fuck up. People that are 35 don't do this anymore. (laughs) I'm just insane. And I'm like, I put a copy of all your music on a CD so far, so I have it, and I have the original cover that you put out for it too. But what happened to it, man? I fucking love that song. I'd love to get it some plays. And he never wrote me back. And now I know why. (laughs) (laughs) And I even went as far to take the original cover that he put up for it, Okay, so I I won't say what it is, Mm -hmm. but the title of the song he wrote is very similar to the title of another song that he actually released. So when he put that out, he put the wrong album cover. Oh my god, we tied it back in. Yes! We tied it back in! Um, He released, had the wrong album cover on it, so he released it based off of the album cover, obviously. So I ripped the album cover, the the single cover, the single cover in the song, and it's in my stuff. And then I went as far as to match the font, remove the wrong word, and replace it with the correct one of that song name. I made my own version of the incorrect one with the incorrect picture, but the correct name on that song. Yes. And fucking crazy, man. It, it just fuck, man. Like, no, I mean, you are fucking crazy. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you know me? Literally, bro. Do you know me? I mean, like, I'm sane enough to, like, be fine and not a, like, flight risk, but, like, the shit that I do for my <laughs> own interest of in hobbies, like, the amount and the level that I've done it for so everything for so long is fucking insane. What did I say earlier going through shit downstairs? I was yeah. like, man, it's going to be, like, Christmas every day when I go just because going through one box and there's, like, giant boxes through this house of just my life's worth of shit. It, some of it is shit. I should go. Th- I will eventually go through some of it. I will change. Get it? Yeah. That's um, a good one. Yeah. And like, I just haven't. I just haven't had time. To, I've had time, but not the energy. And when I have the energy, I don't have the time. It sucks. It's the unfortunate uh, nature life. because capitalism has ruined our life. Yes. Uh, that is the unfortunate truth of the matter, Mister Watson. <laughs> um. Oh my god, we're getting so close to the end of the episode. I know, I'm watching Oh, also, I have a new idea for it, too. Like, we'll put out, not, like, one big episode, because this is going to be, like, fucking three hours, right? But when we talk about Grimm, like, that's a segment. Like, you know how they upload the shorts is, like, a short part of it? Like, if there's 15 minutes of us talking about Grimm and then 10 minutes of cold ones, it's going to be paint episode two, cold ones. Paint episode two, Grimm. Gotcha. But I upload it in sequence, and then maybe we make it, like, each episode its own little playlist or something instead of, like, two big fucking long episodes and it's a bunch of short parts. Racks up the view count, and people can click on the parts that they want without having to sit through an hour or two. longer videos now? Some, yeah, but when it's people like us, maybe not. Okay. But we can title it more things that people would want to see. Like, if Grim wants to see the part of him, he doesn't have to sit through two hours of us fucking saying the same shit over and over if he wants, he's a teacher. He should. He's a busy man. He's a what? To anyone. He's a teacher, and uh, I, t- I said that earlier. Well, I'm trying to teach him how to listen to fucking podcasts all in one go, baby. <laughs> he got you. Just kidding, dude. That's funny, though. Grim would kill me. <laughs> he's such a nice dude. Yeah, he's yeah. Such a fucking nice dude. I know he Sorry is. Sorry if you don't want people to think you're nice, but you're... Very nice, dude. <laughs> <laughs> One of it's so genuine when we talk because like anytime Ghostmane posts something, e- either one of us is at each other's DM on Instagram like, "Yo, did you see Ghostmane's new post?" And like sent it. It's like, "Yeah, dude, what are you gonna get?" Like we both were waiting for the merch drop at nine in the morning a couple weeks ago. It's like eight fifty. I'm like, "You ready, dude? You fucking ready for this merch drop?" And he's like, "Fuck yeah!" It's and I'm like, "What'd like, you get?" And then we send each other what we got, and it's like, "Fuck yeah!" Kind of like the second like cold one drops like new merch. You're like, dude, it's dude, this, yeah, this, I do this, that. And this. Yeah, yeah, that's the what reason I do. I, but I want to. I, I hit up friends sp- like that. I'm like, hey, y'all, this dropped. If, even if I don't buy it or you don't want it, here it is. <laughs> I appreciate it, 
next time, just tell me you need to watch this episode right now because I like to watch the episode and be surprised when they drop new merch. Oh, well, I just go to it because I expect new merch on people's stuff and I don't want to watch through the full thing because people know that and they go to the link before watching it because it sells out so fast. Oh, uh, I see. So that's why I'm just like, yo, new merch shop, hit the link, don't watch it yet. <laughs> some of the merch that they've dropped recently I didn't want to grab. Well, uh, I agree. But um, I still think some of it's funny, but I did buy the I Have a Drinking Problem one because it's funny. Put out another Fiverr Shirts video. Problems. <laughs> put out another Fiverr... Put out another Fiverr shirts one, and I will definitely oh, yeah. want to get one of those because I will rue I rue the day that I was not able to get the um, I bought this shirt to give Max and Chad money. Money. That's one of my favorite money. But um. Oh, but that's real too. I did. Well, I guess you constantly struggle with any sort of drug problem if you have one. Even if you're uh, sorry, even if you're clean in the future, if you have a drug problem, it can always come back. Uh, I had a bout during COVID where I was drinking a lot. It would be like not even a full drink. It would be like at least one mixed drink a day to have a couple sips, and I would just get sick a lot. But so I drink like almost every day for like a year or more straight, and that, that, that's just that. But you know, so I did slash do have a drinking problem, so I bought it unironically, but ironically just to support them and because I like the shirt. Yeah. I, but that's how I was saying. Drug pro- drug problems are still problems. You can joke about it, but you can't. But not that you can't. Sorry. You can joke about it, but it's not a joke. Same thing. I mean, that, that actually goes back into the album art like concept, because one of the things that we wanted to talk about, which was merch, good mer- merch, which is you told me Grimm has great merch. You love fucking Bones merch. Bones. Yeah, I know we're not trying to get into, like, our... Uh, yeah, that's why I was like, we have to do just local artists for this one because I will fucking ruin the entire show talking about Bones, Ouija Mac, Twisted, or Ghost Main, or Suicide Boys, or something, like, Debo, CKY, anything like that. I'll just fucking go, Oh, baby. also, I'll show a picture of this, too, since it's right there. I can take a picture of it. See that worm sticker above the cool? Yeah. That's one of his earliest stickers, I guess. Oh, shit. I had bought something from him, and he sent that, and then when I sent him a picture of, like, yo, check what's right next to my desk... Uh, and he's like, dude, holy shit, the original nun sticker, that's fucking awesome, I don't have any of those left. I'm like, oh, that's cool. I'm like, fuck. I also have a signed, like, uh, four by six of him with a real pistol to his head that said, I love you, Nate Worm, on it. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's, uh, it's above my bed with the rest of the shit. That's fucking scary. <laughs> I know! He's, it's like, it's like this and se- sepia tone, and it's, I love you, Nate, and <laughs> he's got his dreads and his fucking big-ass, uh... Like, it, it, he has a septum, but it's a big bowl one, oh, so it's yeah. really fucking thick. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I like this suck dig <laughs> The ukulele strikes again. Literally, get it? <laughs> um, <laughs> grapefruit method. I mean, I the reason I the reason this exists, actually, is because I watched the Cold One's Fiber video. Really? And I wanted merch of Eldritch Journeys, like the shirts. I thought you had that for a long time. No. I sent, and I, I well, since 2020. I can't fuck. Three uh, years. Exactly. And so I <laughs> sent that, uh, I, and then I was like talking to Jens. I was like, I want merch up for Eldritch Journeys, and I want to make a cool poster for a shirt. And he, he after like... Do you see how fucking detailed this is? There, look. I want yeah, you to uh, tiny, tiny. So we'll, so we'll show the real image up here and zoom into what you're talking about. So like each one represents one of the the parts of the podcast, like one of the campaigns. The first one on the left, top left is Soulwood Red, uh, Coral Castle, pink in the middle. Hand, uh, no, Jacoby's Lullaby, uh, purple top right. Um, Handsome Dwellers right below that, and below that is like. Uh, some of the lore of Howland's, the one of the characters, Howland's, uh, Ed? yeah, Ed Howland's, uh, the Knights nice Congregation. Asking, but... No, no, it's cool. And then BJ, my cousin, has a character named Baggio, who's in the green to the left, which has a lot of lore for his, like, leaf side and his backstory. And um, uh, another spoiler I can't say um, in, in there, but, and then above that is just in yellow the current campaign we're doing which is one thing to alter like discovering the secrets of Margo's past and there's so much lore Jens is a real one he listened to every single episode of my podcast every single one combed it for details and put it in that fucking poster he was the OG who made the Eldrick Journeys logo I love that man to death Jens is a great artist don't listen to what anything he says he's a great writer I, he was don't listen to anything he says Jens, because he's like, oh, I'm not an artist. Oh, he's a, him, yeah. yeah, he's a, 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 he
he's a fantastic yeah. artist. Yeah, fuck yeah. He makes leather work. I was he just gonna say, didn't Jens also make that fucking dope he made container a, for he you? He made a deck box for me because yeah, he, yeah. because we love Yu-Gi-Oh. We get together and we play cards, but it's not gambling. We're just playing Yu-Gi-Oh because we're the boys. Um, but but like he's he's such a great artist. He's a great writer. He's a, D, a dungeon master himself, and he j- makes so much amazing shit. Jens, I love you. He made the fucking pages of Puzzle Valley for the trailer. Some fucking fantastic art. Stuff I want to put on a tapestry. Puzzle Valley page 5, when he sent it to me, I didn't tell him this. And if you're listening to this, Jens, which you probably will because you're a great, supportive, creative person. But uh, when he sent me that last page of Puzzle Valley, which is just the pieces of Puzzle Valley with a shooting star going across it with a moth on one side and a crow on the other side, which is great symbolism for the fucking podcast. uh, When he first sent that to me, I stared at it for an hour and I cried. It was so, like, validating. Thank you so much, Jens. Uh, I, I know I just went on that tangent, but support your fucking local artist. Jens is a great... Mm. But that goes into the, the whole idea of merch and like all this art. He he made pretty much all of the other um, Eldrick Journeys posters. He is a, he's a great fucking artist, and he... I don't know, man. I can't say enough nice things about how the guy. You, how did you meet them again? I forget. JJC! Okay, yeah, yeah, that's right. He was the Wolfpack president before me. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yes. and he's just fantastic, supportive, friendly dude who just wants nothing yeah. but happiness. Yeah, just wants to help and create and spread with what he can do. Yeah, I love that. That's what I like to do. Like, if I can help somebody and it, they're not like being a piece of shit about it, and I can create and spread something like that, then I fuck yeah, dude. If I can do it and it doesn't kill me, you know, fuck yeah, I'm gonna do it. He literally like made the best art that like got us pe- got people to start viewing us, and it, mm-hmm. it just he adds so much to the piece. I. He is such a brilliant man. I can't say enough about him. And then on top of that, he made the fucking Doorman logo. He made Doorman the logo, which is uh, I, not to get into it again. But Doorman's a really like uh, we're kind of close enough. You can fucking laugh. Dude. It's a passion project that I've been working on for seven years, uh, passionately wanting to get out of my life. <laughs> the tattoo. Just so that, just so that you like you guys know, like. I guess if we're passionate about something, it's on our skin, and that that's how most people are, you know. But like, this is shit from our mind on our skin forever. I'm taking a picture of it. Dude, that's honest. that's wild. That's like a physical manifestation of our brain. Yes. Back into our body. Yes, exactly. That's crazy. I'm not high anymore, but <laughs> like, that's like really what that is. Exactly. Our brain just was like, how do I put this back into my body? Exactly. <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> and then again, our brains are like, that's we put it onto the page, it comes back out, we like it, and it goes right back. And then after you watch the shit, it makes your brain do something else once it's fully done, and it, like, affects you. Yeah. Damn. It's crazy. We really be manipulating ourselves, huh? <laughs> Telling us that we don't deserve to live. Nice try, brain. Yeah, good try. I'm, I woke up today, so I'm making it everyone's problem. <laughs> yes. No, and even though I just want to help people. <laughs> exactly. That, that's, that was your... That's Dean. He plays Dean K. Uh, flash the picture on Puzzle Valley, and one of his core traits that I like to think of when I think of Dean as a person is he says, "I just want him. I just want everyone to be happy." That's your line as Dean that I always think of. Um, That's just me, dude. Yeah, <laughs> everyone has their own lines that I think of. Like, it it's just beautiful, and that that's it. I just want everyone to be happy too. Happy doing stuff and making whatever they want and just being happy. And those are the people I want surrounding me. One of those people, I have to shout them out because they are also an artist. They are an art therapist. They went to oh, yeah, yeah, of course. Columbia, and uh, they're uh, in That's grad school right now. <laughs> <laughs> We've been filming for three hours straight. <laughs> it's fun. It's been I know, it's fun. No, it's been I love a it. while. Um, but if this was like live, that'd have been cool, you know. True, true, true. That. Like cut it up after that. But. Oh, that's true. We could have done because we don't say problematic shit live. No, we don't. Except well, when yeah, I say nit. I stopped him, guys. He did. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> like earlier when you're like, I hate, and I was like, <gasps> yeah, I said like black cowboy hat, but I was like, <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, I was gonna say gay pussy. Uh oh, am I loud now? Oh, oh, ooh, ooh. Um, right here. Right here was cramping there. And I've never had that happen. You want it? On this side. Oh, okay. great. Right there. Yeah, it's actually, <laughs> it's actually right where it is, too. But I'm just like, oh. <laughs> oh, Jesus, what is the episode? 
I'll <laughs> die in the fucking living room. It's fine. But my, my partner, uh, Nick, is an artist, and they do some really amazing art. And they are all, like, all of these artists, every artist is the same Everybody fucking thing. Everybody that we work with is super fucking awesome, like ourselves included, but we shit on ourselves we so really much. Do, and we're, like, we're not we really undersell good. It, we undersell the value. We undersell the effort we put into it. We don't necessarily, because we put a shit ton of effort, and we know how fucking long we uh, put into this shit. I'm going to ask my partner to, uh, if they want me to tell this story because it has to sub- do with something. Uh, yeah, I won't. Obviously, I'll wait for yeah. on this. So I'll but uh, I'm going to... They did this project for grad school uh, as, a, as a therapist. And one of the things that they had to do was uh, they sat in on an, an Alcoholics Anonymous thing and for a... Ooh, yeah, they, they, they were allowed to be there. <laughs> yeah, I know, but... I, no, no, I got it. But just like having to do that sometimes, that's rough. But something they noticed was that uh, a lot of alcoholics... Uh, or addicts, and also the camera went out again. What? It's not. It's not playing. I thought it was. I'm gonna continue on. No worries. Yeah, so so nice. Please help. Anybody, any locals who want to do a 48-hour film competition, I'm gonna put a team together, and we're all gonna make something amazing. Dude, we can get like crazy ass guys. On. Fuck Even yeah. Oh, man, dude, hey man, make a murder track. Hell fucking yeah, baby! That we S- ma- send me thirty seconds of an unreleased song we could use for this. <laughs> yes, <laughs> like literally, because it can't be. You have to make it during those forty-eight hours. So if there's you no proof that, that it's but... not out yet, yeah. <laughs> fuck you. You say that. Blur that, Nate. The camera seen my thing earlier. Uh, my fat cock. <laughs> no. I mean, you could also. It could also just be stuff that. Like as long as they sign off on it, it's good. It's it's go. I thought it had to be made during the forty eight hours. No, that's what Shelly always told us. Yeah, because Shelly, <laughs> yeah, fucking okay. Shelly is a... okay. As soon as you said, oh, as soon as you said, yeah, because Shelly, I'm like, okay, shut yeah, up. yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah just, right. I'm not. Oh. Hello, Shelly. I know the. I know we went a lot over this before. I love Shelly. Shelly doesn't love me. <laughs> she took my degrees. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Maybe she just didn't want me to have them. Uh, <laughs> Oops. But uh, I love Shelly. She helped me be able to get two pieces of paper instead of one, and she was she always she supported me, me in class. Zero. Well, maybe you weren't meant to have them yet. She I hated having them. She I was just mad at me. I hated like having them for a long time. I didn't frame them, and when I had them framed, I had them in a box. That's how that's but that's how everyone in this country feels right now. Is because a degree means nothing unless you know somebody. Oh yeah, that's that's the ultimate but issue. I was which like, is why this... artists need to help each other? Oh yeah, uh, shout out Canada. Fuck yes. Fuck yeah, dude. Shout out Canada. Hell yeah. I love Canada so much. I talk about him c- quite frequently because he's always he taught me work smarter, not harder. And I say that all the fucking time. Dude. He was our professor in in for at Photoshop, JJC for Illustrator. Photoshop Illustrator, and he uh, for one of my projects, I had to do a presentation like that. He me too. Yep. He, we, we had, had to do public speaking. Public speaking is you one had to of edit things. something like a slideshow, but do a public speech about. And I did mine on Game Grumps. <laughs> we all also had to do a like a poster, like that's yeah. he was teaching us for this presentation, and I did something on Doorman, which oh, was this. Thing. I did twerp for that one actually. Temple yeah. Next party. No, 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 that's fine. But I was I did a poster for Doorman, which is this project I cared so fucking deeply for. I was gonna say the wrong thing, but I did. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't. I did I did the poster, and I a lot of people didn't. So some people in my life didn't give me like the props I kind of deserved for that poster, and I felt bad about it. Okay. You know, I genuinely wanted that art to be the poster for Doorman whenever it gets released. It, it's going to have a different poster. I'll explain why. Canada came up to me afterwards after everyone else to give me. Yeah, that happened to me too. He, yeah. he, he's like, "Hey, Nathan, stay after class if you don't mind. If you're not in a hurry, because my class got out at 9 p.m. when we'd have it. So he, he's like, I know it's late, but please stay after. Yeah, exactly." And I love school. School was my Hogwarts at the time. I know you didn't like it as much, but... Uh, it's not that I didn't like it. I just had too much other shit going on. Yeah. <laughs> it's fucking still going, baby. <laughs> yeah, it never fucking going? stops! One day it will. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fucking dead! No. <laughs> when I'm fucking dead! Love you. Love you too, DJ. <laughs> Get the fuck off me. No. Not super. Really. I'm just really hot in here. And I'm like, yeah. My cool. body hurts. But I'm, I'm having a good time. But Canada came up to him and said, stay after. And he's like, I believe. I saw that presentation and how how passionate you were, and I saw the trailer uh, of that, and I saw like it, it was good. Oh, it was you. I was like, I'm sorry. It, he just he, and it meant the world to me just to have that little bit of validation. And every if you aren't yeah, a creator, a it and, and you know creators in your life, give them give them the shout out that they deserve. 
Like, like that's why I'm so adamant about saying like making sure even if I didn't talk about Tommy and molasses, you know Tommy slash molasses Malone, like mm-hmm. shout out, shout out, you know, like people like that. And if I forget people, my brain is bad, baby. Exactly. But uh, I, there's always another episode, and we probably fucking talked to you about you on Punk and Replays. Exactly. Shout out to Oculus Randy, my friend Thomas in town, a different Tommy. <laughs> shout out to my cousin uh, Shannon Conway, who is a band member or was a band member of as we once were not super involved in that band anymore but mm-hmm. they're an amazing graphic designer and they do uh yeah, joe just snapped at me shut up with joe dude <laughs> shut up to fucking joe dude. shannon does joe uh, uh, shannon does the twi- uh twitch shancon art and it's just she's really good i wish we had a better relationship but our, my dad did a real <laughs> bad number of making sure that that didn't happen sorry i laughed i'm not laughing at that no, just you using my dad did a, and i was like oh no <laughs> Dude, this is so cool! I made this I'm, live I'm ex- on video. I'm not from I'm my not, brain. I'm not ready. My yet. hands. Did you take my? I'm not ready yet. Did you take my button? Oh, yes, you did. <laughs> uh, I'm. I'm really not no, ready I yet. No, I got, you're okay, dude. I got one finishing touch, but also I just want to, sh- Shannon. Uh, if, if you watch this, maybe. Um, I wish I had a better relationship with you. Uh, <laughs> that's all I can say. But you're an amazing artist, and I love uh seeing all this stuff, and I love that you were in a band. Uh, I remember the first time. I saw her at a local show. I'm waiting for this to dry so I could do something with it. Okay, I got one. Saw her at a local too. show, and I was like, "Wow, Shannon, you're, you're like in this band." She's like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah." Look who's running the merch, and it was her parents supporting her. Shout out to supportive parents. Shout out to those people. Just the merch thing. Bones yes. has a line that says, "L L is his older brother. L booked the shows, and my family sends your orders." Hell yeah, that's good. Bones. <laughs> <laughs> but my, my my partner Nick we had to do this Alcoholics Anonymous yeah. thing, and their art piece they had to do an art representation for it for class, and their thing that they came up with was a resin of a wine glass tipped, and so it was red at the bottom, and it became like lighter and lighter and clearer, and it turned into water because uh, their thing that they did was that Alcoholics Anonymous a lot of them turned to Christianity. So what yeah. they were saying with the piece was that Jesus turns water into wine, but because mm-hmm. of like these Alco- Alcoholics Anonymous turning more to God over and over again in, in that uh, sphere, that Jesus is also helping people not drink wine anymore. I know I shouldn't explain the art and you should interpret it, but when they told that to me and they showed it to me, I was so over and over. I'm like, that's fucking crazy. And they're like, uh, I don't know. Are you sure it's not lazy? It's like, no down on yourself every fucking artist is yeah and there's a they did a uh, poster for a short film or a feature film i can't remember uh from their website wikinix.com um they do a lot of pins too on etsy just throwing that out there not to be like supporting my partner but uh they did an amazing poster that <laughs> that right there was us not being ready uh yeah true True, true. Right? I know it's just so second nature because you're like, oh, you know, you, you're, you're right. being bashful. And I'm like, you know what? No. Fuck it. I'm a professional. I said that the other day. I'm like, you know what? I'm like, like a professional. I'm like, you know what? I am. I have a degree. Yeah. I do this shit for a living. Like, I'm a professional. They do so much amazing stuff. And like, my favorite <laughs> poster is uh, uh, here. Actually, I pulled it up three hours ago. <laughs> I got to stretch, dude. I'm dying. It's you guys, okay. I want you guys all to know right now that it's one in the morning. Oh, true. True, 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 true. But they did this, and it's on screen right now. Mm. Damn, that's sick. Yeah, it's actually uh, it's fantastic. The colors are my favorite. It's the, 108? The blood. God damn it. Um, <laughs> Not that I care. I'm just like, fuck. Yeah, exactly. But that's Yeah, no, that, that is fucking sick. Like, to, uh, okay. Um, I'm almost done. I promise you. I just, I've been waiting for this white to be done for so long. Just give me a second. What do you mean the white? Uh, to dry. You don't look at it. I didn't know what you meant by the white to dry. I'm like, I need to. No... I want to paint. Oh, there over really it. is white on it. That's right. Oh, you could have just painted those white. <laughs> what? Like when you were like when I told you how to like remove it with the water or your yeah. saliva. I didn't remember. There's a white one. Isn't that one white? This one's white. Yeah. Okay. I didn't remember those white. I could have just told you to remove as much as you could and then paint white. Ah, oh, probably could. Ah, oh, shit. I didn't think. I didn't know there was fucking white in there. No worries. Because no. I don't think I've ever used the white. I just don't color it in. <laughs> you just start with white and don't color it in and be extra careful. That's what I did with the pupils on I here. Just, I didn't and think like, I was going to do this. I mean, I for started. the Because th- <laughs> I said what part of what I drink. Yeah. yeah, I didn't think about doing this when I started, but uh, now I'm now I'm here again, so I'd like to continue. <laughs> um, 
Oh, that's what I was gonna say. I was gonna say that's what I was gonna do. I was gonna say shout out to your brother and sister, uh, Caleb and Clover, and everybody else that joins us on that crew. There's like Zach, Bree, uh, John, uh, and then some other people. You're always really cool and really fun to play with. Uh, whatever games we do, Phasmophobia, Fortnite, Minecraft, and uh, that's always awesome. And then shout out to my cousin Steven. Uh, I don't remember his. I think his Twitch name might be like Steve dot or Steve underscore VA, but it's there. Steven usually streams on like Friday or Saturday nights most times, and they play random games and shit. So shout out to them. Uh, I'll I'll finish up with some shout outs as well to my cousins, BJ Haddix, who I want to be a Yugi tuber so bad, but he is so. Uh, unmotivated. His, uh, not on unmo- his self esteem's to the floor, and he thinks he's well, I mean, gonna be bad. That at is it. a part of it. Yes. Like you're unmotivated because you're not like, you know, like, oh man, this shit sucks. I'm not doing that. Exactly, like, but he's such a because I get that he's genuinely such a funny dude, and he's like he literally has me laugh every time, and he's like one of the most creative people I know. He's a dungeon master. He's a good artist, and he loves Yu Gi Oh. He just thinks that everything he does is trash, and that's like I. You need to it's help a curse, people. Man. You need to like lift those people up, but like shout out to him. I like at Brad, at Brad of Earth. Anything, just like be like, hey, do a Yugi tuber thing. Hey, do something. You're a gr-. like he. He's genuinely really great. Shout out to my. But do it in a way where it's like, hey man, I've heard a lot about you. You should really do this. You know, yeah. I believe in you. Not just like do it, you fucking bitch. You yeah, know, like some people are some really people, rude. Some upload, people need upload, that. Max Mofo, upload, upload. It's like he he has a couple million followers. You think that's a little bit of stress on somebody that like didn't expect to get famous and doesn't like to, to deal with people a lot. Some people Fuck need that, that though. Some, my brother's one of those people that won't do anything if it, if unless someone's like, hey, I bet you can't. And then he's like, well, fuck you, I will. Shout out to my brother. Uh, this isn't his real name, but we refer to him as Bob Smith. Who uh, does? Yeah, it's a lot of lore I could get into, but at, at one point I was dil- I was like trying to genuinely get into like YouTube stuff and get nicknames for it. I was like, "What do you want to be known as?" And he's like, Haha. "Bob Smith." That was the Bob era then, wasn't it? Yeah, where everybody was like, "Oh, look at his Bob. Bob fucks dinosaurs." It's like, "Shut up, bro." And then I, and then I was like, "Oh, what do you want your logo to be?" And he was like, "Sean the Sheep, wearing like like Air Jordans and holding a pimp cane." Did you ever make it? Yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. I was going to say, is. if you didn't, I'm going to make it. Here it is, <laughs> right there. Shout out to him. I love my brother so fucking much. Uh, I wish we uh, could hang out. <laughs> All more. your stories are, man, I wish we had a better relationship, <laughs> but my dad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, dude, but it's right. Just how it is. Like, three of them have been that. That's so fucked, man. It is. I know. My dad sucks. Here's a voice. <laughs> Here's a voice recording of my dad. Uh, after my dad had like commented on my Uncle Norman's passing, he oh commented saying that he was a better father because he was my real father. That's not true. But he commented so much hate that I called him and I uh, said some bullshit. You could cut this out, Nate, if you wanted. No, you're good. I'm just like, if this is too crazy, but here's the voicemail. And it's literally me telling me I'm telling my dad I'll kill him. But, uh... <laughs> You don't have to put it on if you don't I'll want just to. put the back part. I'll kill you. That'd be funny as fuck to let that rip on there. That'd be so fucking funny. But uh, <laughs> uh, but shout out to my brother who help, who I want uh, uh, to continue Eldritch Journeys with me. And shout out to... But shout out to everyone who helped me on Eldritch Journeys and who continues to. The reason they're there, the reason I want them to be there is because... I care about them. I put people in my shows and my stuff because I care about them and I want them to stay in my life. Which is why Puzzle Valley 2000 has a whole new cast of people because they want to continue. Because everyone else left. <laughs> Fuck you. No. No. no, because I want to show other people in my life that I care about them so, so, so much. Sam, Teresha, uh, Ryan. Wait, you want to say it again? Sam, Teresa. I know. Okay. Sam, Teresa, Adele, Ryan, and so many other people that I want to rope into Puzzle Valley 2000 in one way or another. Um, 2001? Oh, God. I actually... (gasps) Wait. (gasps) (laughs) Dude, it really looked like him, too. Is that the thumbnail? We were like... It was Mr. Beast face, though. That's fucked. I'm sorry. 9-11 is not funny. It's very funny. That... Did it end again? Yep. Yeah. Off rip? We got fucking two minutes left. We do. We really do. We're like literally going to say thanks for watching and show us some shit. Memory card full. 128 gig. Oh, that's fucked. <laughs> the 
Those memory cards fall at 128 gigs. We can't just end it on not HD either. So, oh my God. Where's the other M memory? <laughs> Cool, cool, cool. We're ending this file real quick. Just, just real, yes, just real quick. Just shout out to everyone who helps. Uh, everyone, um, everyone. <laughs> um. One time, me, Nick, Chris, maybe Joe were downstairs. We just went downstairs, and Nick was, like, mad about something, and he punched one of the supports to the house, and it made the whole house pop. My dad's like, don't destroy the fucking house from upstairs. And Nick's like, downstairs. It was so funny. That's so fucking funny. Don't break the fucking house, Lulu. Don't break the fucking house. Don't break the fucking house. Nick just sent me pictures. Nick received that Snapchat I sent earlier, but they definitely, they said that they didn't, uh, turn around, baby. <laughs> they know, yeah, Julie was like, did I show my fucking hand yet? <laughs> no. <laughs> 130 gigs in this bitch. <laughs> turn around, baby. <laughs> we used 130 gig uh, SD card for this. <laughs> It's really fucking good, though. It looks ca- like it looks really fucking good. We got a little Funko Mini Bear, my my little boy, and then this one is like my my beauty. He's so sad. Uh, I should get one of my Funko on me. That'd be kind of rad. Don't do that. that one. I'm like, oh. It's just like when people got a tattoo of a beanie baby. You want to talk into the mic, bro? No, I sent this one. Oh, true. But I did forget about that. There you go, bro. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be fine. But yeah, um, there's me as a Funko, shiny Funko non-stop logo, Devo hat, coffee cup, sash, and then it's kind of like sky, grass, and then it like that's how I draw shit. I divide it like that, and then it'll be like a river, clouds, and grass, or grass, clouds, etc. But there's that. All right, I like the perspective of the Devo hat, by the way. It looks like a big thing on a hill. Yeah, it does. Can you screen grab that? What? That. Just this one here? Like yeah. Pick. yeah, I got you. Ooh, that's a nice That's a nice camera. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I, lo- I love it. Now, are you going to get mine, too? Yeah, yeah, of course. Why wouldn't right. I? It's the review. And uh, so this one, I really wish I didn't do the pencil over because I, I had a whole different idea at first. Um, do you it's s- it's kind of cool. It shows like a ghost. Like yeah, it's got, like, the door I was originally going to do. It's, like, do. literally underlined. Yeah. That's kind of cool. The, it, it is kind of cool. And uh, this is the cum stain I put there before. Uh, like the carrot? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, well, actually, it's got green and orange, so it, it's, yeah. it's already there. But, uh... Did, did any of our lines line up, like, for the pattern? I would think Dude, so. we could just hang it like, something like that. You could, because it is way. kind of our content. Like, all I talked about this most of this episode was Puzzle Valley, because that's all I got on the yeah. brain right now because I'm in the middle of the edit, but, like, these are all the logos for all the planned or semi-planned seasons of Puzzle mm-hmm. Valley. Puzzle Valley 18, Puzzle Valley 2000, Puzzle Valley 83. We won't talk about this one. <laughs> I might uh, I might do this one. It, <laughs> it's a possibility, but it is on the sign at the end of the Puzzle Valley trailer, so it's a possibility. When's, and I'm, when's it coming out? <laughs> uh, maybe 2034. <laughs> IRL, that's not just a show name, maybe. Yeah, that's what I was kind of thinking, but uh, it might also not be blue when, <laughs> when it comes out. Uh, it was going back and forth between blue and purple, so we'll find <laughs> out. Fuck. Um... But yeah, this is this is my baby. This uh, yeah, no, that's really cool. Which one's better though? <laughs> like, comment, share, and subscribe. Comment below which one's better. All right. Thank you guys for watching Paint Episode Two. This is gonna 
wild to edit, dude. Yeah, it's gonna be crazy. Fucked. Like wild. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's fun. No, you're not. Uh, yeah, you're right. I hate you. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Take it back though. Take, take it, it back. back take it back. Take it back. Take it back. Right now. Uh, All right. Um, well, we're gonna. Which one do you like more though? We'll say uh, it at the same time. Ready? Now, now here, one of us can look like a dick. <laughs> We both say each other's just out of like anxiety. <laughs> one of us can look like a dick here. Okay, ready? What? Which one's better? One. Which one do I like better? You yeah. can't just say which one's better, cause. But then if you say you like your own, you're a narcissist. <laughs> like I like yours, but like objectively, I like mine better. It's things that are on my skin now on paper again. Oh, I see. All right, end the episode. I, yeah, <laughs> fuck this show. No, I'm kidding. But uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you watch in segments. Or only one segment, or just this one, whatever. Thank you. I'm fucking nonstop. This has been paint. Look at the camera. <laughs> Look at how shit this one looks. That's funny. Well, oh my, it was a vibe oh, though. It was a vibe. Wait, we didn't. We we gotta. Oh yeah. We gotta pull the filter off. Oh, we gotta put it out. Put her down. <laughs> no, no, at the, oh. <laughs> at, the same t- at the same time. Right, what do we do? Nineteen ninety-five. All right, well, we're really going to wrap now. So thank you guys again so much for watching or listening if you didn't want to look at this shit. I don't know how I'm going to edit this. This is probably the biggest thing I've had to edit ever. <laughs> really? Yeah, this is the longest, like, uncut shit and, like, stuff I've had to stitch together ever for one thing. Brother, I do this every episode. I know, but I do this a thousand times over. Shorter. <laughs> I resync all the shit and do everything in the thumbnail, etc. A thousand times over. So Listen. you do it on bigger, longer things yeah. a lot. I do it on smaller things that are like just as intricate a oh lot. So it's like, God. just for fuck. the just for the record, just for posterity. I know we're still going. I'm sorry. It is December seventeenth, <laughs> one twenty six. <laughs> we recorded this for two days. <laughs> Basically. Well, we started setting up. I started setting up this morning for this. I cleaned this room for like three hours and then went to get it. So l- let me tell you. So and then came back and set up for another two hours. Whenever this is released, I don't know how long it takes. Please wait. What if I know when it's coming out now? When? February sixth. If it came out that day, that it didn't come out. That was the oh. day we did it. The day we originally did the first thing, we do that. Ooh, that'd yeah. be kind of cool. That'd be that'd be the day we first filmed it. Yeah, that'd be pretty dope. But don't you don't have to put it. That soon. Yeah. yeah, take your time because I want you to literally edit everything before you touch this. Yeah. Dude, there's so much because we always record more shit too. Cause yeah. I'm like, well, if I get an opportunity to record with, hang out with Joe or Kayla, you know, I'm gonna, if you, if you want to split it. What? I'm, I'm gonna sp- I think I am going to split it into parts. No, I meant like if you want to give part of it to me. That'd be wild. Just like, God, there's so much to sync to. There's like five or six clips on that. And then one Did you want to edit it so we don't have to, like you don't. Like, to editing Nate right now, I'm sorry. Do you want us to shut the fuck up and let you let you be done? I know future Nate is, like, jaded. His brains are all over the ceiling in here. <laughs> but, like, not real. I'm not suicidal, I promise. Uh, I'm just going to be like, I'm not actually suicidal. Oh, okay. I feel that way, but I won't do it. I'm too scared to do it. I'm not going to do that. It's fucking scary, dude. I'm, I'm, I'm not some scared other way. Of I'm okay. not scared of death. I just don't want to do it to myself. Catholics told me that I wouldn't go to heaven for a long time, so I was scared to for a while, but now I don't believe in God. So. <laughs> Tom Cruise told me aliens saved us. There's no way we ended on that. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you. Thanks for watching. Love you guys. I think fuck you to Scientology. <laughs> hey, cold ones, let us on. I'm <laughs> for real, I've been such a Maximo Pro fan for so goddamn long. I can't wait till you read my poem, Chad. Yeah, we have a package that uh, I meant to send last year that we didn't send because I didn't write a note because that maximum pro means too much to me for me to even put into words into one note that would make sense without, like, over-explaining everything. In a not creepy way, just like, like I said, as a comedian and shit and the way you create. Because you see a lot of it in OG editing style and how I do stuff. A hundred percent. Like, not even just that way, the way I cut games a lot and stuff because those maximum pros were so funny. A hundred percent. Like, art is... my own way, but you can tell how it's inspired. I like this theme... I'm just dismantling this thing. <laughs> This theme, <laughs> this theme swirled back and forth between a lot of stuff. It was supposed to be music, but now I'm going to call it supporting artists is the theme. Yeah, artists. Supporting creators. Su- supporting creators is the theme. You support the creators. Support local creators. Funny if this and the cats fell down right now in the dark and we're trying to <laughs> my sleep scale is down. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, support your local artists. And I think we should end it because Nate is literally terror.
Support local artists. Support, support artists. local artists. Uh, support in. local artists. Checking on your friends. Support local artists. Mental support health. local artists. Support local <laughs> artists. Support local artists. That's uh, right. We love you. You guys are worth it. You matter. Uh, check in on your friends. Uh, ask for help even if it seems stupid. And just believe in yourself, man. Yeah. Try something different if you can. You got a hard left turn. Bingo bongo. There's no bongos. Do you want me to redo the line? No, I don't see any bongos here. <laughs> Baby! That was a vibe. Out of the room. I said it here and you grabbed it and walked away with it. <laughs> oh fucking Christ, bro. Hi BTS. <laughs> oh I was like, where'd your fucking pants go? <laughs> I wanted to take them off to be honest. Sorry, future Nate. That's what you get for goodwill. <laughs> you literally can't. That's fair, it's just fucking free. Fucking fight me. Wank spot by the soundboard between you and the murder couch pillow? Nope. Yeah. Should I just switch my like orange game drums pajamas? Did you just flash your ass? <laughs> maybe, maybe I did. Maybe <laughs> <you> did. <laughs> Patreon. <laughs> Do I become the Chad of this? <laughs> hey Max, just stick it up my ass. Yeah, every time. What do you shit? Cause it's just that pillow right here, big as fuck, with Santa filter on did it. Did you order <laughs> Stop. it? Stop. Hey everybody! Merry Christmas! Happy holidays! Uh, Punkin non-stop here with another episode of Punkin Replays, or as we like to call it around this time of year, Punkin Tree Slays. What? Uh, n- 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 uh, brain, 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 brain work! Keep that in. <laughs> Put it at the end, baby.